Hello dear students and welcome to this online class video. This is the second part of 10th chapter 10th and 100th of class 5 subject mathematics. Let's start the class. Now come to today's topic. So today's topic is introduction to decimal numbers and also we will know about the two units of length. First is the centimeter and second is millimeter. Now let's have reading. So here what was the length of the smallest pencil you have used so here is a question and you can answer it according to your experience so according to my experience the, that the last pencil that i was used that was uh, approximately three centimeter i think so you can give your answer it may be four centimeter or two centimeter now how long is this pencil guess in centimeter so this pencil i think it may be between three to four centimeter now measure it using a scale how good is your guess so you have to use a scale so there are many different type of scale first uh, the small scale that we use that is of length 15 centimeter and the bigger one is 30 centimeter and many more are different type of scales there now using the that scales you have to measure that what is the length of this pencil so i measured this pencil and i found 3.6 centimeter now uh, we can see that anju used a lens to make it bigger so here this is anju and she is measuring that pencil okay using a scale of length 10 centimeter here at last we can see it is written 10 so it is a scale of uh, 10 centimeter now uh, here, here you can see uh, the back portion of the pencil is on zero here is nothing means it is zero then it is going to one two three then more uh, small dots you can see here one then two then three then four then it is five then it is six so three and more six it means uh, three centimeter and small dots we can count as millimeter so three centimeter and six millimeter we can write clear in decimal we can also write it uh, 3.6 centimeter let me clear this first 3 centimeter and 6 millimeter it was the length of the pencil so centimeter is a bigger unit than millimeter so it can be written as 3.6 centimeter clear now uh, here you have to know that what is the relationship between centimeter and millimeter so let me clear this as you all know that one centimeter makes 10 millimeter how actually here you can see that uh, it is zero and it is one so between zero and one here we have uh, 10 small dots you can also count it one two three four this is five then 6 7 8 9 and 10 so 10 means it is it becoming 1 so 10 small dots are making 1 so we can write as 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter or you can write 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter and now here it is clear that here 1 centimeter has 10 equal parts and so each part is one tenth of a centimeter one tenth of a centimeter is called one millimeter okay here one millimeter means one tenth part of one centimeter one tenth part of uh, one centimeter so it is one millimeter now uh, See, I am 3 millimeter long so an ant in picture it is hidden 
but uh, in your textbook you can clearly see that here is an end and that is only 3 mm long now here is another one but I am longer 7 tenth of a centimeter so 7 tenth means let's write in fraction 7 upon 10 okay so it is not complete 7 it is 7 upon 10 so here is the end and you can see that it is walking uh, it is stand between 1 and uh, 1.7 uh, clear so here it is not uh, starting from 0 so here 1 will be our 0 okay we will suppose that now it is 0 and its length is here only uh, till 7 dots so it will be written as 0 0.7 centimeter now we also call one tenth of a centimeter as 0 0.1 centimeter and we read it as 0 0.1 centimeter already we have discussed about it so one millimeter is the same as 0 0.1 centimeter yes I have already told you one millimeter it is also written as one tenth or you can write 0 0.1 centimeter both are same now in the next page we have another question what is the length of this pencil so here we can see it is uh, stand between 1 and uh, not complete 2 between uh, this is 5 and it is 6 so here this pencil is not started from 0 so it is a rule that if you are taking uh, if you are measuring any any object like this pencil so that pencils first part you have to put on zero it is very important but here here what is happening here this pencil is not started from here it is zero but now no problem this one we will make it zero and now we will count one two three four five and it is six so it is 0 0.6 centimeter or also you can write 6 millimeter both are same 6 mm in short form we can write it now uh, here we can answer it it is 6 mm and what is its length in centimeter so in centimeter it will be uh, 0 0.6 centimeter now uh, fox another topic is frogs so have you seen frogs yes we have seen many frogs where in the bone and legs how many different type of frogs have you seen yeah basically there are many different type of frogs but uh, I think I have seen two or three types of frogs are all the frogs of same length no they were not uh, of the same length here are two interesting examples first one is gold frog and second is bull frog so let's know about these frogs this kind of frog is among the smallest in the world its length is only 0 0.9 centimeter means you can also hold this frog on your finger you can see here guess how many such frogs can sit on your little finger so in little finger I think your little finger will be of uh, actually my little finger is approximately uh, 6 cm so minimum 6 frogs can sit on my little finger and but your uh, little finger will be short I think uh, 3 to 4 cm so 3 or 4 frogs can sit means gold frogs can sit on your little finger now let's know about the bullfrog but uh, this is among the biggest frog as long as 30.5 centimeter this is the biggest frog 30.5 centimeter means bullfrog you can see a boy is holding this bullfrog on his hand so now next is 
what does 0.9 centimeter means it's very easy 9 millimeter it is same as dash millimeter we can write here 9 millimeter we have we can also say this is 9 tenths of a centimeter yes we can say this means 0.9 centimeter is equal to 9 millimeter is equal to 9 tenth centimeter okay both are this all are same now uh, 30.5 centimeter is the same as 30 centimeter and dash millimeter means 5 millimeter it is just a conversion between centimeter and millimeter now next question about how many uh, of the big frogs will fit on one meter scale so here we have to make a solution so let's make a solution the length of the big frog is 30.5 so, okay and here we have one meter scale one meter means 100 100 centimeter both are both numbers are in centimeter so you can see that 30.5 if you will add 30.5 three times so what you will get you will get 91.5 let me add this all so 5 5 this is 15 and 1 3 3 is 9 so 91.5 so three times we have added okay and we got 91.5 and it is less than 100 okay so three frogs uh, three big frogs can fit on one meter scale similarly another one if they sit in a straight line about how many of the small frogs will cover one meter now this is the same type of question we have to find the number of uh, small frogs that can sit on one meter scale so one meter means 100 centimeter okay and uh, the size of a small frog is 0.9 centimeter so number of uh, a small frog is equal to we have to divide this 100 divided by 0.9 okay now what it will be 100 means 100 upon 1 right then whole divided by 0.9 means for decimal we will put 1 in fraction number and for 9 we will put a 0 9 upon 10 so now let's solve it so it will be 100 divide by 1 multiply by uh, fourth number place means here is 10 it will go to the top and divide by it will be 9 so 1000 means 100 multiply by 10 so you will get 1000 and 9 1 is 9 divided by 9 so let's divide it 1000 divided by 9 okay so let me write 1000 divided by 9 so 9 1 ja, 9 1 is remainder bring down 0 this 0 is here so once again 9 1 ja, it is 9 1 is remainder bring down this 0 here 9 1 ja, it is 9 so once again we will get 1 as our remainder so 111 is our answer so we can say that 111 a small frogs can cover one meter scale okay so in this way we have found the answers i hope that you have very well understand but uh, before uh, over this class i want to give you some questions of conversion of decimal numbers so here is the question uh, 16.4 centimeter is equal to how many centimeter and how many millimeter you have to write and another question is 7.5 centimeter is equal to dash centimeter and dash millimeter means how many centimeters and millimeters make these numbers if you know the answer write in the comment box and also if you have any doubt so you can comment it i will definitely answer that so in this way our part 2 is completed so see you all in the next video till then be safe be healthy jai hind